cloudy Saturday morning in mid-March, I would hear a train horn on the Carolina Piedmont Railroad. The CPDR usually runs high and wide moves with General Electric gas turbines on Saturdays as needed, and I would get lucky catching three quarters of the CPDR's roster hauling not one, but two gas turbines. I would begin my chase of the train in Malton, South Carolina, with CPDR 2149 leading the way. CPDR 2149 is an EMD GP38-2 that was originally built at Southern Railway 5158 in October of 1974. It would become Norfolk Southern 5158 as a result of the merger between the Norfolk and Western and Southern Railroads in 1982, and eventually land at its current home on the Carolina Piedmont. The next location I would catch the train would be in Simpsonville, South Carolina. The second engine in the lash-up, Georgia Central 2140, is another EMD GP38-2 that began its life on the Southern Railway, and was built as Southern 5171 in August of 1975. Southern 5171 would also serve on Norfolk Southern as NS5171, and land on the Georgia Central as GC-2140. The GC would lease it to the CPDR in mid-2022. After the train cleared Simpsonville, 
I would move to the next town on the former Charleston and Western Carolina and Atlantic Coastline Main Line, Fountain Inn, South Carolina. The sun would start to break through the clouds as the train came into Fountain Inn. The third engine in the lash-up, EMD GP38-2 CPDR 2079, has the most diverse history of any engine on the current CPDR roster. CPDR 2079 was originally built as CNW 4613 and was later sold to the Chicago, Fort Wayne, and Eastern, where it became CFE 3881. It was then sold to the Carolina Piedmont, where it operated as CPDR 3881 before eventually becoming CPDR 2079. I would then move to the community of Owing, South Carolina, where I would get the closest thing possible to a train meet on the CPDR today. The other engine owned by the Carolina Piedmont is CPDR 2007, another EMD GP38-2 that, like the CPDR 2149 and the GC 2140, began its life on the Southern Railway being built as GP38 Southern 2740 in September of 1969. It, too, would continue serving under the ownership of Norfolk Southern as NS2740 before eventually being upgraded to a GP38-2 and landing on the Carolina Piedmont as CPDR3899. It would eventually become CPDR 2007 years later.
I would end my chase of the turbine train in Gray Court, South Carolina, which is home to Norfolk and Western Caboose number 518526. While the NNW never ran through Gray Court, or the state of South Carolina for that matter, it is still a nice gesture towards Gray Court's railroad history. The turbine train would continue its journey to Lawrence, South Carolina, and I would head back north once the train passed. Thank you for watching another production from Slater Dozier Railroad Media, and consider liking the video and subscribing if you haven't done so already. Until next time, stay safe and stay tuned for more railroad-related content like this.